Hello there and welcome to the card grotto. Today I've got the new release from Clearly Besotted to share with you. All of these items will be available to purchase today. That's the 1st of December 2019 at 8pm Greenwich Mean Time. You can purchase them from the Clearly Besotted shop and also from Simon Says Stamp. So as I usually do, I'm going to share the new release with you and also the samples that I have made. The theme this month is pretty much loved themed. I personally am still in Christmas mode but obviously the stamp companies have to be kind of like almost a season ahead so a lot of these are kind of based on you know possibly Valentine's depending on if you want to use them for that purpose but I definitely think you can use them all year round so first of all this is the first set this is the love letters set it is so adorable and I think really quite unique as well so first of all you have all of these cute little piggies in their different poses and then you have this like rectangle outline which you could use as a letter or a postcard and also you've got the flap here which you can add on top to make like an envelope you have the postage stamp here and the icons that can fit inside the postage stamp or you can actually add the little piggies inside as well which is really cute you've got the lines there for like when they frank the postage stamp at the post office which is cute and then the sentiments read happy hogmanay Miss you pig time, pigs might fly, swalk or sealed with a loving kiss, first class, air mail, sending love, hogs and kisses, exo and stupid cupid. So a really great kind of unique set that can be used in lots of different ways I think. You can cut that out and create an actual letter that you want to send someone. You could do it like like I said, a back of an envelope, you could do it like a postcard, you can just create little notes to send on Valentine's Day and things like that. But again, definitely think you can use it all year round, you can use the pigs all year round. Although they've kind of got like heart themes in them, I think hearts obviously work all year round as well and all, like, all the icons and the postage stamps and things like that. So a really unique set I think. This is the card that I made using that set. I thought I'd create a postcard. I don't know if anyone still actually sends postcards um, now. Um, I used to really love, I haven't been on holiday for a long time, but I used to really love um, sending postcards to people back home. I just thought it was a nice thing. You know, I know a lot of people don't write letters and things like that these days, but if anyone still sends postcards, please let me know because I'm really hoping that that's still a thing. But anyway, so I stamped out the rectangles. Um, mossed the first one off and then stamped out the other one so it kind of looks like a front of a postcard and the back of a postcard and then I thought it'd be really cute to have the little piggy on a beach scene and he's saying that he misses you pig time so that image there is from the scene it more set I just used that image there at the top and just kind of created like half a front of a postcard coloured that in with Copic markers and then I used the other rectangle to create the back of the postcard and used the postage stamp with the little piggy in there and the franking lines. I just thought it would be something a little bit different and quite cute. I did also create a little tag as well, I couldn't resist, I absolutely adore these little pigs. So I just used that one there, well, kind of like, he has his arms open so I always think they kind of look like they're saying they want to hug someone, which I think is very very cute. And then the sentiments there, the sending love, hogs and kisses, I just heat embossed that onto black. Next up is the Picture Perfect set, a set that you can use all year round. So you have the Polaroid frame here and the Polaroid camera and then all of these cute critters fit inside of the Polaroid photograph but you can definitely use these on their own as well. I thought it'd be really cute to create tags kind of like that pig tag with the aperture in and then you can have those inside of a window um, and not inside of like as a selfie which I, which I think would be really good as well but for my card I did actually use them as the selfies and that's kind of what they're made for but I really love sets that you can use them in lots of different ways so you've got the bunnies there the puppies the foxes the bears and the cats and then you have all of these different icons that you can kind of add on top like snapchat filters have the little kind of like sparkly things and stuff and the the booths that you go in for the Polaroid pictures and they like you can hold up like crowns to go on top of people's heads and things which is cute 
and then you've got the little washi tape that you can stick up the photographs on if you wanted to the sentiments read you've captured my heart picture perfect shake it make memories ha smile hi a perfect couple hello best friends and say cheese and then you've got the selfie time sentiment there these smaller sentiments fit inside that polaroid frame really nicely as well so for my card here, I just did, kept it really simple, did a one layer card, stamped out the Polaroid photograph frame first, masked that off for of these two here, and then stamped out the images for the critters inside. They're really easy to line up, you don't really need to do any masking or anything, they're perfectly sized to fit inside, which is really great. So I used the little cats there, the bunnies and the foxes. I thought that I would just do some kind of really neutral colours for the critters, and then add a bit of pop of colour in the background so I just drew on some kind of like bubbles I'm thinking they are or something like that or like little paint splatters just did that with coping markers and then the sentiment there is from the next set that I'm going to share with you so this is the festive flourish a great set obviously that can be used for like holiday cards and winter cards and Christmas cards but I did just use the hugs there obviously on a card that is any of those things so the sentiments read peace on earth let it snow with love happy holidays Merry Christmas happy new year big hugs be merry and joyous Noel in the beautiful kind of like a bit of a larger size of the calligraphy font and then in the basic font you've got the XOXO hugs have a with love and kisses let it snow and from all of us so you could mix and match the two different sentiments or you could definitely just obviously use them on their own like I did as well I'm really looking forward to using some of these larger sentiments and some Christmas cards I have a lot of Christmas cards still to make I did start making one and I didn't really like how it turned out so I'm not going to use it but I thought I would just share that here so you can kind of see like the size of the sentiment this is an A2 sized um, kind of like card base so it's four and a quarter by five and a half inches so you can see the size a bit better there but I don't like how that turned out but never mind next up another love themed themed set and this is the a love story set you've got this great film strip here and then you have all of these different kind of cityscape e type things to fit inside so you've actually got the buildings for the cityscape you have the night sky with the moon there the sunrise or the sunset with the palm tree and then the paris skyline with the eiffel tower there so you can stamp those inside of the film strip you could have different ones in each one or you could have the same one in each one and then you can have the different skunks in front these skunks are absolutely adorable so they are, are more on the love themed but you can definitely use them for different occasions as well so you have this one here with kind of like his hands up or her hands up kind of like a like a happy face I think you've got the one with the diamond which could be really great for an for um, engagement card sorry the one with the champagne so like they're celebrating the one with the flower there which I could definitely think you can use all year round you've got the one with the little heart the one with the heart balloon and then the one picking the petals off the flowers you've got some extra little hearts there as well the sentiments read marry me hello hi it stinks when we're apart you're my happy ending you're my happy ever after and our love story so it's really great that you can create a little story with the skunks and like the backgrounds in the film strip I made this card using that set I just decided to do the same image for the cityscape in the film strip I thought it'd be quite nice to kind of create it like a background but still in the film strip I thought that that was something a little bit different and I just coloured in this sky with Copic markers to represent a sunset the sentiment there is from the tiny type set and then I thought it'd be really cute just to have the skunks kind of like one giving the heart to the other one and I thought that would make a quite nice anniversary card they are kind of set up this set to obviously the sentiments itself to send to your significant others but I think it's nice just you can obviously use it like for anniversaries to send to other people as well and there also is a sentiment set that works perfectly with that set and this is the love story sentiments so the sentiments read you had me at hello it's always been you to me you are perfect all you need is love I love you 
you are the best thing in my life you're my happy ending forever and ever it's your fault i wake up happy every day the most romantic setting has a diamond in it you make me smile never forget how lucky you are to have me i adore you we go together like copy and paste you're my sunshine on a rainy day happy anniversary thank you for putting up with me kiss me be mine forever. Women are meant to be loved, not to be understood. We're not perfect, but we're perfect for each other. You give the best hugs. Be my Valentine and big hugs and kisses. I did also create a little tag with this set. Um, I thought it'd be nice again just to use it as kind of like an all year round set and I thought that this skunk holding the balloon was just really cute not necessarily just for love but you could do that for friendship and all sorts of things I think the hearts are just really nice all year round I created a little sky scene with the this is the balloon bunch backdrops so I just used that image there with the sun and the clouds I just thought it'd be quite nice and then have him sitting on the grass the sentiment there is from the tiny type set the tag itself is from the tag along set and then I just did a little bit of um, ink blending with the cloud stencil and then the sentiment here is from the next set that I'm going to share with you so this is that set this is the with a flourish set so along the same lines as the Christmas one but this one obviously is kind of sentiments for all year round so you've got the happy birthday there the best dad congrats to you love you new baby get well soon thank you time to celebrate new home and xoxo and then the smaller sentiments read to you hugs xo enjoy yourself and it's your day I really love the fonts on these sentiments I'm hoping to use them a lot more and then last but not least this is the a love note set so again love themed but you can definitely use it all year round so you've got these cute critters here you've got the bunny the hippo the cat and the puppy and they're holding different writing implements so you've got the pencil there the brush the crayon and the pen and they can be writing these sentiments here with this lovely brush lettering font so you've got hugs kisses love and then you've got the heart there as well the accompanying sentiments read be mine hugs and with to xoxo hi sending i love you xo swalk a little note and from and then you've got separate hearts there as well that you can kind of mix and match with everything so although they are kind of made to write out these brushed lettering you can definitely use them for different things i saw that stephanie and jenny had made a card where they just had like art supplies behind and with the bunny with the pencil i just thought that was a really great idea so you can definitely use these all year round I created another anniversary card with this set I'll be 100% honest with you I'm not particularly happy with this card I like elements of it but I'm not sure about other elements I think that I colored in the hippos too dark I originally colored in the paintbrushes to have blue handles because I was going to do a different background and then I decided that I was going to do a red background so I wanted the paintbrushes to be red and so I went over the ones that I'd already colored in blue so they ended up really dark I mean it works but I don't love it so um, what I did first was I stamped out this hippo and then I did some mirror stamping to stamp out this hippo and I thought it'd be quite cute so that they're both kind of brushing they're kind of like drawing in or brushing the heart in the middle and then the sentiment there at the bottom is from the feeling sentimental set I just did some ink blending in the background there's quite a lot of shimmer spray on that I don't know how well you can see that and then I also added crystal glaze on top of the heart and then also the bottom of the brushes to kind of look like more of like a glossy paint I thought that would look quite good but like I said I don't love the card but it's okay <laughs> but I did want to still share it with you so that you can see a different way of using this set so that was a look at the new release from clearly besotted for December 2019 links to the products are in the description bar on YouTube and also over on my blog. The products are available now over at Simon's Stamp and they will be available on the Clearly Besotted website at 8pm at Greenwich Mean Time. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon.